everything's changing so much and that giant image. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. I'm not just losing my mind. Holy fuck, what are you doing? What is going on everybody? Ryan here back with Subnautica. I have some bad news today though. We're gonna have to start another new world. Kidding, totally just Josh and you. <laughs> That's not even funny. We just got our old place back, but... But there is a new crash sequence update where if you start a new game, you get to watch a new video on the crash and like how the escape pod managed to end up in the place that it is. So I have to see that. I'm super freaking excited. Now if I make a new game, nothing happens to the old one, right? Just making sure I have like 30 games, but I'm just always scared. You know, that's my lifeline right there. Sweet. It's happening. Shh. Shut up back there. It's too excited. All right, anticipation building. We're running, dude. We're hauling ass right now. Oh, would you come on, show us the Aurora before, please. I want to see it push past people. Holy shit. I, I know for a fact he pushed past people. There was definitely room for others on there. <laughs> Oh, this is right where that piece of chunk flies off, yeah. This is- this actually isn't new, oh my god, I've been- I've been tomfoolery! <laughs> We've actually seen this before, I think that this is just now the... Official? Okay, never mind, I'm seeing extra stuff now. That's bad. Fire's bad. Oh, you're gonna burn to death like freaking Deadpool, bro! Except that's not how any of that happens, so it's not a spoiler. Holy shit! Now you have to put out the fire? Oh my god. <laughs> Extinguish for your damn life, dude! This is so crazy. The music. I can never even- I'm burning? I can never even hear the music when I'm editing, but... So there's no point in describing it, but it is freaking going down right now. So that was crazy. Is a fire extinguisher in our inventory now? Because that would just be so useful when taking over the, um... When going to the Aurora to go fix things. That's terrifying, dude. So that's how you start the game out now, like on fire, putting it out for dear life. <laughs> Thank God we woke up before we burnt to death. Dude, damaged life pod systems, use welder to repair, what? What else you got going around here? Use welder to damage communicate. Oh my God, now I just can't wait to get back in my game and go check out this life pod, cause I want me a fire extinguisher. I want to fire extinguish so many flames around here. Usually just, um, I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, so let's get back into our old world. Come on, y'all, and sing it with me, Subnautica. Come on, y'all, sing it. I don't know the words, so Subnautica. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Do not scroll Facebook while you're recording. Oh, goody. Here I am in my power world. Restored. Of course, it lags Old for the first second. See, power restored. Now it's getting back to, back to au natural. It's gotta love, gotta love Johnny, because he always leaves me, like, past Johnny, past riots. He always leaves me... Freaking dying of dehydration. Selfish bastard does not care about anybody else but himself. I swear. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I just want to go check out the freaking escape pod now, the life pod. Because that is. Severe I know, I know, we're dying. Because that is just so cool, like all the stuff going on over there. Now, one thing, I know I know a lot of people were saying, like, not a lot of people, but a couple of people were wondering why I overcrowd our base so much. And it's we definitely do. We have We're crowded as a bitch in here. But you, some things could happen, and we could actually lose a few sea moths an episode, and that could, or even lose one sea moth an episode, and it just saves us so much time in the middle of an adventure to, to um to not go have to do all that. Plus, I mean, the actual point of them all is they each have their own purpose. Some are for exploring, some are for fighting, some are for just collecting resources. Now, this was rather ridiculously embarrassing. Reading in the comments that I just didn't notice this was a freaking resource, some mineral right here. I want to blame my eyes, but I blame my eyes on so many things, and this is just, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just embarrassing. I mean, you should be, I should be able to be 100% blind, can't see right in front of me, and still know that was a mineral, is, is what it comes down to. <laughs> we're just, we're just gonna pencil that one under things I should be ashamed of, but we're not gonna talk about it anymore. Dirty bitch! Dirty bastard! Dirty bastard! That's what happens. That's what happens when you mess with me, loco. I cut you. I'm the only person you have to worry about on this planet who will stab you. I will stab the shizen out of you. Come here a sec. Oh, bone sharks, bone sharks, and we're gonna die anyways. We gotta go hydrate. Life. Life in Subnautica. <laughs> it's so glamorous. 
Dude, there's so much I want to do right now. I'm like, so uh, I want to go over to the Aurora and explore the wreckage because we can get a lot of useful stuff over there. I want to go to the escape pod and check out what's changed all over there. I want to go freaking... What else do I want to do? I guess I want to go get some crab snake eggs, some shocker eggs. I need freaking uh, pressure compensators. Okay, let's just focus on one task at a time or we'll never get anything done. Ooh, look at that, a medical kit fabricator. That's awesome. Fabricates a medical kit every 30 minutes. Oh my god, where have you been all my life? You gorgeous some bitch. I just need you everywhere. This isn't the exact perfect place for it. Can I just make a million of these? <laughs> that's, that's gonna be fixed very soon, I promise you that. So I'm gonna put down like three of them. Just before, that's not where I wanted you. You have to do what I want. <laughs> Obey my OCD. Oh bitch, we are just not gonna get along with that attitude. There we go. I predetermined it. <laughs> so we'll just leave. You close it. No, close the damn thing. Close the cabinet. Can't live like that. Close the cabinet. And then we'll put one more down before they go ahead and take that away. Because I these don't even cost resources yet. I don't know if they're gonna, but... <laughs> I'm gonna get them while they're on sale. You know what I mean? Definitely. I swear to God if you go slightly right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying right there. Ooh, girl, you just made me so happy. All right, one thing I was going to do real quick. Do we have any quartz? We do! Whoops, whoopsie doodles. Dude, it is just so beautiful and lit up around. I can't believe we still can't use those. The odds of that. Actually, should I put one more med pack thing on the... No, no, no. We have enough. We have plenty. I'm making a freaking cabinet specifically for creep vine clusters. Because these things are just always... I always need them at a time when I'm not near them. So I thought you guys should know so you're not confused in a second when you... When you see this... Like, how the hell did that get there? I don't remember him adding it. Now you do. This is just organization at its finest right here. I mean, we can only hold a couple. We can't can't really hold really anything. <laughs> these damn, these damn grapevine clusters are so big, it's ridiculous. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm misclicking. My whole system's falling apart. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a bunch of resources real fast. Not, not a bunch. I'm just gonna make a few lubricants and a few... What's that other thing called? It's like the most basic item in this game. It's like the first thing you have to make. Oh, silicone rubber. I'm just gonna make a few of those and a few silicone rubbers. And then be on my way. Because I don't want to need- I don't even- I have no general purpose for them whatsoever right now. You know what, dude? Focus on the prizes. Freaking attention span. Put it, creep seeds. Creep vine seeds. That creep seeds just sounds weird. Could, there's so many other choices I should have picked for that name. It's too late now. Oh, what have we hit? Ooh, I'm gonna ram you right in the face, bro. <laughs> yeah, you instantly turned into roadkill. That's the kind of respect that I shouldn't like to see. Oh god, this whole place is already so much better than the old glow dick. <laughs> New remodeled plastic surgery glow dick is my favorite. It's just so much the colors. It's The updates made it so neon and pretty. We have such organization. Med kits, aisles of fish to extract. It's just this is beautiful. Oh, we really did this guy dirty. This is messed up right here. This is, I, I feel so much better if he was just immobile. But this, this between life and death stuff gets me every time. Okay, just collecting a few... Really? Just collecting a few samples right now for our fish tank so they could get breeding and, um... That damn bone shark just scared the hell out of me. This is so perfect. We're turning into the best deep sea explorationers there ever was, man. I just feel so like... I know there's a few things we could be doing slightly better, but... It's all about balance, too. Balancing. I'll put two more in there. Feel free to breed it out. You have up until 10 space, I believe. These will be our food, our water. God, it's perfect. Just, it just closed. <laughs> too pretty. Okay, how far are we? Because I don't want to go too far. There we go. We'll stay right in the neighborhood parallel to the Aurora. That's as far as glow dick gon' go, and then we're just going to take... God, this is just so beautiful. I'm so flabbergasted every time I swim past it all. Now we're just gonna take Ass Reaper on over here to the escape pod and check it out for ourselves. And I'm gonna dehydrate. Son of a bitch! Dehydration is fine. We do that all the time. I wouldn't feel at home if I wasn't dehydrating when it comes down to it. When I feel too hydrated, I just don't even feel like I'm playing Subnautica anymore. It's all about dehydrating. Okay, let's go. There's bleeders everywhere. Let's get the hell. Get one more air sac and get the... <gasps> Stalker egg. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gotta. We have to start our egg collection as well. 
By the way, I'm aware I got a few of the Seamoth's colors wrong back there, and um, I do apologize for that. Feel free to comment the correct colors. I think it's just Suds is the incorrect, although I, I have my suspicions over Elbow Deep. I'm pretty sure that one was just all brown, though, to fix with the disgusting symbolism. All right, we're getting close, man. Oh, we're way closer than I thought. Why is it so dark down here? It's, it's clearly almost daytime. Why are these floaters flying past us, dude? If one of those sticks to the sea moth, we're boned. Oh my god, where the hell is this thing drifted? We're like in the middle of freaking nowhere right now. Hey, we're not in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of Subnautica. It's basically the middle of nowhere. Spawn nearby failed. We do. We have a freaking... Oh my god, we have a floater on us. No way. No way. How do we... Oh, thank god. Yes, I was able to get off. I don't even know how that happened. How did... How... What, what changed? I don't even care, as long as everything's okay. <laughs> Freaking terrified right now. Well, can we not use the fire extinguisher? Do I have to make a new game? Do I have to make a new game to get the fire extinguisher? Yo, dude. Do I have to make a new game? Because I'll be very upset if I have to make a new game. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Anxiety attack right now. I don't think we have to. The fire extinguisher isn't the most useful thing, right? Unless we have fire to extinguish, which we most definitely do. Might as well fix it. Whoa. That's some freaking, um... That's some magic stuff right there. Sweet, we're all powered back up. What does that do? Status okay? Hold on, everything seems fine. At least we got the med kits on lock. Wow, I left a bunch of stuff in here last time I was here. Yeah, yeah, I'm dying. I know, that's why I brought snacks. Why we stopped off on the way over here. All right, lady, calm your tits. Should not have consumed that. That was an accident. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. Wait. So we have to wait like 10,000 hours to get out of this place? That kind of sucks marbles, dude. How do we keep busy? I mean, the, the shininess of the base will only keep us occupied for so long. And eventually even that will get tired. Where's the fuck? I want my fire extinguisher. I demand my fire extinguisher. You! Dude, everything is so ridiculously pretty now. This is by far one of the sexiest games ever. So, this is happening. Give me these. Can we not take these? That would be just so cool, man. If we could take these self-charging power cells, oh, I would use these for such good. All right, well, I'm happy we came here at least. We repaired this damn thing, so that's something. It was never on fire, though. I feel like we really missed out on something. There's no way we'd have to start a new world for that, though. That seems a little drastic. A little drastic park right there. Am I wearing my radiation suit? I am wearing my radiation suit. I wonder if we should go hit up the Aurora and see what's going on in that funky situation right now. Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, we got time. We got to figure out what's... Not what's. We got to just go over there and collect fragments for the most part. We're pretty much prepared, except for the starvation and dehydration and having no torpedoes or defense systems on us. But other than that, we're good. You know what's trippy? If we played this game right, we wouldn't have to worry about anything. We'd be the alien invaders coming over doing crazy stuff. Like, I'm technically abducting fish right now to take back to my mothership but we're the ones on their alien planet it's just all like i wonder you know how would that work like would we free if aliens visit earth do they freak out that we're aliens or do we freak out that they're or do we all just freak out because we're from different planets <laughs> they're freaking out and we're freaking out no one knows what the hell is going on emergency starvation imminent all right i understand that part i understand the starvation imminent part what i don't understand is where the hell is glow dick Oh my god, what are you doing right there? How'd I just stumble onto you? Like, where's your glowing symbol? I can't believe I just randomly found it like that. Not even a little bit exposed. Like, super hidden in the kelp trees. Just... <laughs> Imagine that issue, having trouble fighting the Cyclops. That would just be embarrassing. Not that much more embarrassing than losing my base, but still. You know, pretty up there. Having babies yet? You lazy bastards. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put two peepers in the last one over here. Now we have full-on specimenizing going on in that general direction. Makes me feel like a scientist of sorts. Um, just gotta do 
Do I have enough for one more Uno Moss? Yes, I do. We're gonna have to start stacking these downstairs now, unfortunately. But because batteries and power cells are such a huge issue, I decided I need a whole cabinet specifically for acid mushrooms. These things, they're very important. Shrooms, we'll call this. Alright, we're gonna have just... Damn, this little centimeter in between is gonna drive me crazy. I think eventually we're just gonna have these like lined up all along the whole wall till about there and then just all down below and we'll have every single resource so organized. Why don't you guys remind me I was about to die? You just sat there watching as I totally forgot I was starving. We're going to the Aurora. We'll have enough resources. It's all fine. Cook an air sack even. We don't even need the water. Boom, boom. And, oh my god, this sucks. We are gonna have to bring the Aurora over there because we're gonna have to cook. Damn it. Or not the Aurora. We're gonna have to bring Glowdick over there because we're gonna have to cook. Why do you have to be so damn slow? Ooh, I already forgot. We actually already have to make another one of these. Dude, the game is like, as pretty as it is, it's the buggiest I've ever played. Some, like, I've, the buggiest I've played Subnautica in a while. It's just like, I don't know. Clearly, it's in between a lot of big stuff, though. So I don't really blame it or anything. Like that. That was buggy right there. All right, so for starters, we're gonna put one right here and label you eggs. Ha ha ha, that's so awesome. We're gonna have a giant egg collection. Eggs are probably gonna end up being stored massively downstairs. We'll just have like every sort of egg in each cabinet and then I assume we won't need more than like 20 eggs of each species. That just seems wasteful. So let's go snoop around. You know, I've never actually come face to face with a Reaper Leviathan in a Cyclops before. And if I have, it wasn't for like, it's maybe like seven months ago, like a long time ago. I've just never, never taken one of these into one of their areas before. When I have, they just didn't, they just didn't necessarily mess with me. I'm just wondering if something changed, because they just kind of swim past. We're too big for their food chain. <gasps> More reefback families. Oh, you got any kids I could swoop by any chance? No, no, no. Focus on the prize. And of course I would be a fool if I didn't check for batteries. Oh, you dirty little bastard. I was hoping for batteries. I don't need any signals. This whole planet confusing me. Setting me mixed signals. Come on. Come on. Battery. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's just so much easier for my lazy ass to find batteries than make them. <laughs> Disinfected water you shouldn't have. But with another one. Oh my god. This is Christmas all over. If all I wanted for Christmas was disinfected water and some batteries. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. See, this is a happy occasion in my life. I know, I understand the latch doors waiting for them to open and close just takes longer and it's unnecessary, but you can't deny how fancy it is. And if you even try, you're just a liar. And boom, we got a battery here. Oh my god, now we're just fit for all sorts of travel. See, you thought I was just lollygagging, but I had a plan. You know, it makes you wonder kind of, how silly the, um, the organization must have been on the Aurora. Like, who puts an entire battery, just one battery per case? Just have a battery room. Or a case with, like, ten batteries in it. I can't imagine what that storage room looked like. It must have been a nightmare. Just like, in which planet does it make sense to spend more resources on the case than for what's in the case? I just, I just don't get it anymore. I guess on this planet it makes sense. Look at everything. That's why it gets slightly buggy right now. See, as we're swimming around, everything just stops like they're just all frozen still waiting for us to get there. This, this, this freaking Cyclops is going to die soon, dude. And where you at, Reaper Lacryothin? That's right. Straight up insulted your ass. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the little indicator in front of us. It shows that we're going down into the jelly tree biome. I don't think it's doing it on purpose, but I know that's what's down below us. So that's why that's trippy to me. This is just, this is just freaky as shit right now. I haven't done this in a Cyclops in so long. This is Seamoth territory. I'm getting out of this damn thing. Although this is also Reaper Leviathan territory, which eats. Oh no. Detecting an extended debris field. What does that even mean? What is that? We're approaching it very quickly, whatever the hell it is. What the fuck is this giant black smoke with these pink rings in it? I've never, what are all these things that are appearing? A debris field? Is that what you were talking about? Dude, I'm terrified right now. What is happening in front of me? Take me back to friendly land. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. It's like, it's, 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 what? What are you? 
And do I even want to find out? Okay, it disappeared. Thank God. What the hell is that? Is that the animation of a giant shocker in front of us? What am I even seeing right now? What the hell is in front of us? What is that? Why does it just look like a giant fish? I feel like it goes on forever too. Like we'll probably end up swimming millions of miles out just chasing this mystical thing. It's very freaky. Freaking me out a lot right now. I do not like this at all. Okay, this is the... What is it, dude? What, what the hell is it? Oh, of course, as nighttime approaches, it disappears. Okay, I think we're going off into the nothingness now because we're swimming way past the aurora. It's just freaky. It gave me a giant color because I think that's where this general area is where, um, if you go way down deep, that's where the, um, the sea emperor cage is, right? That's why I'm a little freaked out what's going on over there. Like, you just see a giant animal shape in the distance, but it wasn't moving, is the thing. See this? This is exactly why I wanted a fire extinguisher. Like, it, it just seems so clear to me now how important a fire extinguisher is. The entire thing is on fire. It looks like just one guy with a fire extinguisher can save the world. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. What the hell is that glitchy ass thing over the distance? I just don't even know anymore. Alright, Godspeed. I really wish this thing had glass floors so we could see what's going on. Alright, I'm sorry. I know I promised you a life of breeding and everything, but I'm going to get hungry and thirsty, and that's where you come in. And we're in here, man. It's too late to go back now. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate how the Reaper Leviathan is like invisible until he's right in front of you too. I also hate how it's nighttime right now. This is this is bad timing all around. This is just the worst. At least we have a flashlight. 40% battery. Aha! No, 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 no. No, 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 get the battery. Get the battery, watch out for the damn game crawlers. Oh, you bastards. Little rap scallions. I would kill for a repulsion cannon right now. Or a freaking fire extinguisher. I feel like both would be equally useful. Me too, but I'll take you anyways. Got some disinfected water. Shot over here, med pack. I will take you too. No, 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 my god, oh my god, oh my god. How did he not get me right there? You dozy bastard. <laughs> what are all these signals? Some Nautico is sending me mixed signals, man. Alright, well when I do this, every time I do this at night time, I always fall. So I can't see the floor for some reason. Alright, I jinxed myself into victory. No, 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 Give me that damn power cell, it's gold! Oh, you bastards, barely doing any damage, but scary as hell nonetheless. Dude, it's darker than a witch's asshole down here. Oh no, 87% of the habitable sections of the ship were- If only I had a fire extinguisher! Good god, I can't believe we only had one fire extinguisher per the whole thing, and it was in that escape pod. I'm sure there were other escape pods, but I don't know where they are. I know there's a few blown up all over the map, but I'm waiting to run into them. Like, I've been, like, accidentally running into a lot of stuff lately. It seems to work for me. Man, if I had a fire extinguisher, I would extinguish the shit out of that fire. Ooh. Alright, well, we all know what's coming up up ahead here, so let's go ahead and get this welder on out. We have to fix the, um, the radiation leak. I still haven't done yet in this world, just because i fixed so many damn radiation leaks. It gets exhausting, man. Can't it just fix its damn self eventually? Aurora black box device found attempting to download and current interference warning. Radiation maximum tolerance level. What? The Aurora black box? Is that like the black box that survives plane crashes on planes? Well, they're always like, why don't they just make the- Ooh! Power efficiency upgrade module. No way. That will sure help out with the freaking Cyclops. Recycles heat byproducts to increase engine effective efficiency by 50%. That's a win right there. Just made this whole trip worth it. It's so lit up and pretty down here. Every time I've done this, even in daytime, it was just so freaking pitch black down here. You couldn't see anything. Just like the occasional biter. Or not biter. The occasional... I forgot what they were called. The occasional douchebag would latch on. That's all you need to know. Don't you be running out of batteries on me. Okay, good. We have another. 7% <laughs> left of this thing in like the most crucial time ever. Unless we, our base is being destroyed. I guess that would be fairly crucial as well. It's just so pretty down here. I don't even want to leave. Should have made this my base. I mean, we certainly have some sort of horrible testicular cancer. In a week living down here, but... What a week it would be. 
Okay, so... And we're dead. Boom! That's why we gotta get batteries. Two more leaks remaining. There's one. You! Look at us, just single-handedly saving the world. Makes me feel so proud inside. And outside. Attention. Well, now what do we do with our lives? Three days, baby. Three days is all we need till everything's clean. Dude, this right here is gonna be so useful. Like that, I've been complaining over the power the whole time. There's an alarming amount of smoke on the ceiling. Like, that is just terrifying. It looks like we're in Supernatural and Crowley's about to descend on us or something. Like, that's, <laughs> that's some God of Hell type demon smoke. Well, I'd say we did a pretty productive day. We got the energy thingamajigger we needed. We fixed the Aurora. We've laughed at all the fires I've passed by, so that was kind of cool. The whole place is generally repairing. I wish some half-alive survivor would crawl out of some nook and cranny and we could resurrect him. That would be awesome. I feel like in reality, if I was trapped on this planet for this long, with no hope of finding any other survivors, I would have rigged this thing into a tattoo gun a long time ago. Well, of course, I'd have some very hideous tattoos, being one, not a tattoo artist, two, not much of an artist, and three, tattooing myself, they would come out. They would come out very weird. You know what? Never mind. It's a stupid idea. In hindsight, it's not that smart. I kind of want to go back this way in case I missed any boxes, you know? I wonder if you could beat that son of a bitch! <gasps> land on it! Oh my god, we fell right through it. I was going to say, I wonder if you could land on that stuff now. Because before, you could not. You would just fall right through it. Oh, this is just scary as hell right here. This brings me back. I remember one time when I was... Because I used to just build crazy bases and make Subnautica armies and stuff. And I was waiting for the updates to slow down. Even though I've mentioned that many, many times. One time, I just went off like with death commands and built an entire giant base that took up the entire inside of this place. It was... It was marvelous. It even had a giant terraformed pool where I would keep like all kinds of creatures. No, those were the good times, man. We would need a stupid amount of resources to do that now. It was funny was back then, um, pressure or like, um, hole compensation and all that wasn't a, really a thing. It wasn't exact. Like, if you didn't have enough reinforcement plates on your building, even if it wasn't in the water, it would spring a leak and flood. And now they repaired that. They patched that. And now so many people go on those old videos. We you dipshit, why are you putting hole reinforcements up there? It's on land. Back well, then, it didn't that. work. <laughs> I know I've mentioned that in a video or two before. I'm just getting my point across. It's okay. <laughs> well, hoodly woodly, how do we make that damn thing then? How doth or did we just pop it on in there? Ooh! That's how it's done. Look at that. Heat byproduct to increase engine efficiency by 15%. Power efficiency now 400%. But how... How do we burn heat byproduct? Where do... Do we have to fart in something? I have the gas. The body's willing. The mind is just confused. Whoa! Oh, I clicked on the ladder. Well, here's something stupid. Who locked this? I made this entire ship. Who's, who's locking shit up on me? Alright, so we use energy 15% slower, but it looks like we still have to. You know what? I'm gonna use one of these power cells. Rath meow. Because we need energy on this guy. That's how we do it right there. Do we have a lot to be proud of? We really do. Look at all these different eggs we've come across, these different things we've built, things we've discovered. This has been a, um, a happening series right here. It really makes me feel hope. This is like how I wish I felt in Ark Survival Evolved. Like, we're just explorers, ready to go anywhere, do anything. Not like a freaking warden's gonna walk up out of nowhere and take everything from me. I'm just kind of mesmerized over Subnautica right now. It's all so pretty. Look how shiny that steering wheel is. Everything's so damn shiny. Gosh, it's like a, a short attention span's worst nightmare. Everywhere I walk, it's like a... Oh my god, look how shiny this freaking thing is. Can't do anything. Dude, there is no doubt some funky business going on over here. Like, things are for sure popping off in this region. Everything's changing so much, and that giant image. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. I'm not just losing my mind. Holy fuck, what are you doing? I was gonna go check out the neighborhood, and then I just realized I'm driving around in like 100 to 250 pounds of Reaper Leviathan food. I assume this thing doesn't weigh that much, because it would require a lot more energy to push it. A lot more than a couple batteries. I was thinking, what is that? Okay, we're just seeing some... Okay, that's what it is. We're seeing some giant holographic vision of what's way down there. Like that's, maybe it's just like the glass on the Cyclops is like semi made out of what microscopes are, like really, there's nothing down there, but if you go way down there, then you'll see these jellies. It's just weird. 
That's like having a magnifying glass on the bottom of our Cyclops. That's kind of awesome. But extreme, and this just shows what's way down there. How does that even make any sense? I don't even get it. I love it, but I don't understand it. Well, now I'm just even more confused. How am I supposed to find my way anywhere when you keep putting these imaginary objects in front of me? I just, it, between these and the bright colors, did I ever even stand a chance? <laughs> could there be any more distractions like that? That just could not look more alluring. The only reason I'm not down there is because I started to swim down and I heard the Reaper Leviathan. I'm not in the mood to lose Ass Reaper 3 right now, for God's sakes. Number 3? Alright, well this has been a pretty productive episode. I saw some crazy things I haven't seen in a while and we got a bunch of... And the game lagged. Right in the middle of my outro. Bastards. But we got a bunch of resources, we're ready to do a bunch more things. Now that we have this, we have more energy in the Cyclops, we should just charge it with some solar panels on the outside. Like, on the island, I mean. And then, now we just gotta go deeper. There's nothing left to do. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. I hope to god you were able to find a fire extinguisher at least. And have a nice day, guys. Peace!